It's Miss Hagley. Hope everybody's doing good. And I just wanted to see if you would have time to do a craft with me today. Um, all you need, and I'm gonna stand up so you're not gonna see me much, but I'm gonna um, stand up and show you all the supplies, okay? So um, all you're gonna need is a white piece of paper, it's just from our printer, and some uncooked pasta. These are penne pasta that I had in the, in the uh, cabinet. And some curly pasta, you see that? All uncooked, and I even have some Cheerios. So if you have Fruit Loops or just plain old Cheerios right out of the box, that would be easy to use too. And I have some glue and I have some paint, which I've already put out on a paper plate, the colors that I want to use. And what I've done is I've taken one of my kitchen sponges, because I'm not using sponges anymore, um, and I just cut out circles right out of the sponge. And those are gonna be my little, um, like a paintbrush, okay? I'm gonna sponge paint on my paper. So I already have a couple in my paint, in the orange and the purple. And we're gonna get started. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna finish um, with today. It's a cute little picture. Mine's not quite dry yet. I tried to make one before I started filming this. But that's what it's gonna be, okay? Really kind of cool. Nice for spring. Since spring is here, I figured that would be a nice thing to hang up in your house and make it really seem like spring has sprung. So here's my white piece of paper. And I'm gonna start with my paint. And I'll start with orange first. And you're just gonna dab it in, my orange paint. You don't need a lot on your sponge, okay? And just pick a spot on the paper and do a little sponge paint. Make a little circle. That's all I did. And then I'm gonna take the purple, same thing. I'm gonna take my sponge, dip it in the purple, not too much. Take another spot on your paper, okay? Leave some space. So I'm gonna go down the bottom a little bit and sponge around a circle. So now I have orange circle and a purple circle with my sponge paint, all right? And now it's time to use the pasta and the glue. So grab your glue. And what I'm gonna do is, you know, you want a good amount. Can you see that? I'll do a couple. You want a good amount, because the pasta is a little on the heavy side. So there's my glue. And you can do like three or four little strips of glue, and then just pick what you want to put. I'm gonna do maybe every other. So I'm gonna do a penne pasta, and then a curly pasta, and then go back to the, so see how I'm filling it in all around my circle that I made with the paint? So let's keep going. I can't wait to hear what you guys have been doing. I hope you're outside when it's nice out and taking in all the new spring things that are happening out there, listening for the birds, looking at all the flowers that might be popping up out of the ground. Things are starting to be so pretty outside because things are starting to turn green. And it's always nice in the morning to hear those birds chirping. I see a lot of squirrels lately too, so they're coming out. They're happy that it's turning nice. The bunny rabbits we have in our yard too. I haven't seen much of them, but I'm sure I'm going to. They like to eat all my flowers as they come up. So we're just gonna finish this around the orange circle and then we can start around the purple one. So there's my orange one so far. I hope yours looks great too, okay? So again, these have to lay flat to dry, but it won't take long, okay? It won't take long at all. So let's go around our other circle. If you did more than two circles, if your paper was a little bit bigger or you made smaller circles, then good. You'll have more flowers to decorate. So I'm just gonna go around and put all my glue. Maybe I'll use the Cheerios this time. So just put the Cheerios around right on the glue we'll keep going. I'll just do a couple more because I don't want to keep you because I know you're thinking about how you're going to decorate yours, but I'll show you how to finish this off and um, 
let it dry. Maybe in the sun, you can pick a sunny spot in your house and lay it flat, maybe on a table or even on the floor where the sun's coming in. And it'll dry even faster because the sun will, will help the glue dry. So I'm gonna keep going around my purple circle, but I just want you to see how that's looking, okay? So when you've got it all filled in, I just have a green marker. You can use crayon, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna put some stems, okay? So we'll go, do it this way. I'm gonna draw a little green stem and put some leaves. And I'll finish going around my purple flower with the Cheerios after we finish, but I just wanted to show you. I'm just gonna color in my leaves real quick. Make this stem a little bit thicker, because that's a big flower. The stems hold up the flowers, and they actually act like a straw. So the stems soak up all the water from the ground and bring it right up to the flower, just like a straw, just like you would drink out of a, a cup or a glass with a straw. Works the, the stems work the same way, so it's kind of cool. So this is still a work in progress because I'm still gonna finish going around this purple circle, but you can kind of see how that looks, all right? So I hope you had fun. I hope you have fun doing that and um, ask mom or dad or who's ever with you first what, what you can use from the pantry. Um, if you have pasta or the cereal, make sure it's okay. And you don't need a lot, maybe like a handful and just have fun, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll have more crafts um, in the next couple days. So make sure you tune back in and um, again, stay happy, healthy and safe. Okay, bye.